Hello there my friends and welcome back to the Scott Re project and this week it's all about the speed baby. This week we are going to be cooking a super quick and delicious supper dish. It takes about 20 minutes to prepare, 10 minutes to cook. So all in half an hour we're going to give that Essex boy Mr Oliver a run for his money. As you can see in front of me then not many ingredients keep it simple you know there's no need to put loads of stuff into these dishes you find the simpler the better. So what I've got then, five rashes of a good bacon, I've got dry cured there, I've got my, well my fix, Coleman's mustard, some salt, some double cream, some lemon juice just to add to the sauce at the end, some fresh basil, two cloves of garlic and the stars of the show are these fantastic chicken thighs, a great economical cut, much underused, you know if you're making curries or stews, Forget about the breasts, get these, these four, I mean they weigh about 160, 170 grams each, they were 55p. So there you go, £2.10, not even the price of a pint, and you're going to have enough to feed four people. Now some of you may or may not have seen how to cut up a chicken, look down there in the comments to find it, where we separate the breasts and the legs, and we separate the legs into the drumsticks and thighs, this is a great way to use up your thighs. So first thing we need to do then is quickly skin these and take the bone out. So it couldn't be easier then, turn them over, you can actually see the bone exposed either side. You haven't got to be too fussy because we're going to cut these into strips. It takes minutes. Just get your knife either side and underneath and away you go. That's the bone out. And these really are a great economical cut they got a little bit more fat, which means flavour, which means they stay more moist. But that is how you skin and bone your thighs. So I should just nip through these other two. But like I said, one of these dishes, you know, 20 minutes to prepare, if that. And once we start cooking, we're going to put our pasta on. We're going to serve it on some pappardelle, or you can use tagliatelle, or any pasta you like. And it should come together at the same time. And what you're left with is a relatively healthy, apart from a bit of the double cream, quick meal. So once we've got our thighs skinned and boned, what we're going to do into nice strips, not too big, just nip through them. Simple as, so that was cut in half and then along their width. So you're looking for pieces like that. And this will easily feed four, five at a push. So, as you can see then, from those four thighs, we've got a decent amount of chicken. I'm gonna put it in that bowl, just in case some of you food police out there are watching. I have wiped my block off. Now, same with the bacon. I'm just gonna cut it in half into decent sized chunks. And once that's done, that is all the prep. We can get on and cook this. So simply through, not being too fussy. Right, into my pan, some oil. As you can see, going like a steam train at the front. I've got my water for my pasta. I'm using a popper dough, so I could do with going up a bit higher mine, but not a problem. Get our pasta in. So when the oil's up to frying speed then, we just get our chicken pieces in. And we want to brown these off, get a nice colour on them. So three or four minutes aside. Like I said, my pasta's in, it's just coming up to boil again. It's going to take eight to ten minutes, hopefully. This will be cooked by then. So just get your chicken starting to seal. And then with your bacon as well. I mean, what a killer combo. Bacon, chicken, cream, my favourite. Got to be the mustard. But you don't have to put mustard in. 
just I love it. As you can see then, we've got a nice coloration on that chicken and the bacon. You know, by all means, cook these in two batches if you want to. Just make sure your chicken is cooked all the way through. So those two cloves of garlic I showed at the start, they can go in. Just cook them out for a minute. We don't want them burning. So just get them in there, show them the pan. And you'll see all that lovely caramelized juices on the bottom when we add our cream that'll all lift like I've said many times before that is all flavor now for the decadent bit turn the heat right down 300 ml of double cream the pasta's nearly done look at that lifting all those juices off the bottom just letting that thicken a little into there. Just going to put a teaspoon. You know the drill. Coleman's. You don't have to put that in. Just want to perk it up a little bit. That's thickening nicely now. My pasta is done. So it's all coming together. Take the heat out. Just give that a bit of a try. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, crank in some pepper and then with some nice sea salt, obviously we've tasted, checked it, how salty the bacon was and it's just time, just give that another taste. Oh, trust me, it's awesome. About 12 basil leaves then, we will tear them and get that in. Always tear basil, don't cut it with a knife. Get it in. So, before we serve this beautiful thing up, have a look at that. Just going to add a touch of lemon juice just to sharpen the sauce up. Now, that I just know is going to taste superb. Let's give it a go before we plate up. It's just absolutely awesome. Simple as chicken, bacon, cream, basil, garlic. Jobs are good. And let's get it on the plate. Get our pasta in. I think we put a little bit more in there. I mean, by all means, run the pasta through your meat, but. I'm going to just sit it on, put a couple of little basil leaves on. So there you have it, my creamy chicken and bacon with pasta. Now, I mean, I've tried that sauce so many times and it is amazing. Let's try it with a bit of pasta, a little bit of the chicken. Oh. It is an otherworldly experience. That cream and the chicken and that bacon where it's just caught on that pan with that little bit of mustard, not too much. Absolutely awesome. Just look at that. Oh. Go on. I'll tell you what, meals like that are deadly. I promised myself I wasn't going to eat all that, but it was so good. And I really mean that. If you can find a better meal you can cook in 15 minutes, you're a better man than me. That was superb, so please, please give it a go. And the more quality the bacon is, the better it was. That was uh, dry cured and it crisped up and it run all the way through the flavour with that chicken. Those thighs obviously stayed moist with the fat in them. Honestly, thumbs up. Brilliant. So if you've liked what you've seen here today on the Scott Reed Project, please click subscribe down here somewhere, like these videos, share them with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, wherever, you know, spread the word my friends, the channel's growing, I couldn't be happier. Also if you're feeling generous, check on fan funding down here, if you want to donate to the channel, anything from a dollar to 500, 
I'm happy with a dollar. That would be much appreciated. Also find me on Facebook, it's Scott Ree or The Scott Ree Project and on my Twitter account at The Scott Ree Project and please leave some comments and I will get back to you if you have any questions that need answering. So until next time, please have a go at this, the weekend, stunning, cheap, economical and there's more bang for your buck on that, super tasty. See you again sometime, I'm off to wash up again.